Good afternoon. I'm George Wadica, the Dane Miller Head of the Weldon School of Biomedical Engineering, and it's my distinct honor today to welcome you to the virtual dedication ceremony of the Innovation Wing of the Martin C. Jiski Hall of Biomedical Engineering. The wing we are dedicating today will help us leap forward in deepening our strengths in three major areas. The first is education. The growth of educational programs supported by the additional space enables the school to prepare more graduates to step out into leading roles in industry and academia, exponentially multiplying the vision and impact of the Weldon School of Biomedical Engineering with each graduating class. Second is research. The new wing enables the school to increase opportunities for discovery and delivery, giving rise to the robust translation of groundbreaking technologies into novel medical products and therapies that will move to the market more quickly, transform medicine and healthcare, and improve lives worldwide. Last, but perhaps most important, is partnerships. Our powerful and wide-ranging collaborations integrate perspectives to help us solve the grander challenges. The new space will support increased synergies with healthcare providers and strong working alliances with medical device and pharmaceutical companies, fostering regional economic growth and the creation of new jobs. Rather than continue to talk about the advancements made possible by this new addition, Let's go inside and hear from those who will be directly impacted. I am honored and delighted to introduce to you the new innovation wing of the Martin C. Jiski Hall of Biomedical Engineering. It began with a then anonymous gift from Purdue trustee William Hillenbrand to establish a biomedical engineering center and by Grace Showalter's subsequent endowment to create a distinguished professorship in biomedical engineering. These two gifts made it possible to recruit world-renowned engineer and scientist Leslie Geddes and a team of researchers to create the Biomedical Engineering Center in 1974. First housed in the basement of the Electrical Engineering Building, the center then resided in the Potter Engineering Building for many years where the Hillenbrand Biomedical Engineering Center was formally named in 1985 by the Purdue University trustees. In 1996, we added the Biomedical Engineering Graduate Program and grew to become a department in 1998. But we didn't stop there. Our undergraduate program was formed in 2001, the same year a joint MD-PhD program was launched in collaboration with the Indiana University School of Medicine. Once again, we were growing at a rate where our facilities could no longer support us. In 2004, in recognition of the generosity of the Weldon family, the Purdue Board of Trustees elevated the Department of Biomedical Engineering to the Weldon School of Biomedical Engineering. And in 2006, the new home of the Weldon School was dedicated and subsequently named the Martin C. Jiski Hall of Biomedical Engineering. The unique facility allowed us to increase the scale and scope of our research to address a broader set of challenges in preventing, diagnosing, and treating disease, and increased our instructional capacity to meet the rapidly growing demand for biomedical engineers. But our work didn't stop there. The Weldon School has grown to over 30 core faculty members, with nearly half of them hired in just the past five years. Our discoveries have generated over 100 patents and through licensing and collaboration with our company partners have directly helped more than 3 million patients worldwide through an array of pioneering medical products. And more than 400 undergraduates and over 100 doctoral students now call the Weldon School home. In order to continue to be an academic leader in the field of biomedical engineering, we knew we needed to take the next step to strategically expand our educational programs, research capabilities, and industry outreach. That's when the Innovation Wing started to take flight. Today, we are proud to unveil the Biomedical Engineering Innovation Wing, an $18 million, 30,000 square foot expansion of the Martin C. Jiski Hall of Biomedical Engineering. In the new Innovation Wing, we have um, several new 
uh, instructional spaces that have really allowed us to transition our undergraduate education uh, even further into kind of an active learning mode. So the, the active learning space uh, is built in a modular structure, so we can go from an active learning space to a straight lecture space for exams, uh, so we can change the capacity of the classroom from day to day. So they're really great teaching classrooms that allow for very active learning environments, and so it, it provides ways for us to uh, get students up, get them active, get them talking, get them interacting with each other. And we're really utilizing that space uh, fluidly because it does uh, move right into the senior design laboratory. So I think the new flow of the innovation wing where we have our senior design lab and the new active learning space has been tremendously helpful. It gives students that versatility of going from prototyping to giving a design presentation in the active learning space. And our senior design program is, is really nice in that we actually take time to reach out to industry partners to get ideas for what should we have our students build. There are a number of companies that, that come to us to ask to help solve problems, and we use our senior design teams to solve those problems, and, and the Innovation Wing is providing the space and the resources that we'll need to really drive more of those projects forward. Beyond that, the space itself is very homey, and so it's done a lot to facilitate students just talking about the research. It's giving them a nice spot to kind of sit down and chat. Some of the common areas in the new Innovation Wing have really allowed the graduate students uh, to get together in new ways um, such that they can collaborate and communicate um, and work together, um, which is really important for their uh, development, for their professional development as graduate students. This new wing will provide not only much needed space, but also unique facilities for instruction and research. The collaborative and supportive environment here at the Weldon School uh, infuses all that we do, and it's especially evident in the new innovation wing, where we've set up the research labs to facilitate collaboration, um, where multiple research groups can go in and use the space, share the space, uh, and really innovate, um, both in the classroom and in their research. One of the amazing things about the Innovation Wing is just being able to have different research labs take over the space and actually be able to meet with clinical partners or even industry partners who can help them translate their technology that's being developed in the lab and move it into a more real-life application. It's also part of a really important evolution in Purdue's mission and in Purdue's service to state and country. And that is our expanding number and diversity of partnerships with businesses and other academic entities with whom we can pool the enormous intellectual and scientific resources of Purdue to create even greater solutions for humankind's problems. Um, being able to talk to industry partners and clinicians will also help education of undergrads and graduate students alike to allow them to have a more hands-on experience so that the things that they're learning in class can actually make sense in a real life setting. One integral part of being in graduate school is actually the ability to form connections with other professionals and like-minded people. You can clearly see the investment that our BME program has in not only equipping its staff with the proper lab resources, but also an amazing office where students are able to openly collaborate with their peers and work out their ideas. What we're able to do with that supportive collaborative environment is provide our students with a very well-rounded uh, set of experiences that uh, positively contribute to their professional development. So one of the nice things about having this additional space is that it, it gives us room for growth. We're getting space for graduate students, we're getting space for research opportunities, we're getting, so we have the opportunity to pull in new faculty, we have the opportunity to devote some space if needed for uh, research collaborations with industry, if we, if we needed to do something in-house, we have the space now to do that. Better collaboration, wider networks of cooperation that uh, produce uh, even greater results than Purdue has been known for for so long. So we look forward to the work that will occur with great partners like the IU School of Medicine and the Cook Group, uh, Eli Lilly and Company, and many more to come. And uh, know that today marks another huge step forward in Purdue's service to state and country and in Purdue's uh, leadership of the scientific advances on which 
uh, all of human progress uh, so greatly relies. The building expansion provides the Weldon School a state-of-the-art platform for novel research, technology innovation, hands-on and online instruction, and outreach to current and new company and healthcare partners. It ensures that we continue to attract the brightest students and faculty, and that they have collaborative, state-of-the-art spaces they need to succeed in this burgeoning field. Through our rapid expansion, we are solving an expanded set of critical healthcare problems and improving the lives of more patients around the globe. We look forward to an exciting and impactful future for the Weldon School. Congratulations to everybody who made it happen. Thanks to the donors, and uh, let's, uh, let's have a great celebration. I hope that you enjoyed an inside look at the Innovation Wing. This dedication isn't an end, this is just the beginning. This entire project was funded from gifts by dedicated friends and alums who support our goals to take discoveries from the academic laboratory to patients, enabling people everywhere to live better, safer, healthier lives. I can't thank you enough for your continued generosity. This expansion allows us to take several giant leaps in biomedical engineering, which include growing our educational and research programs by 50% over the next few years, which is necessary to keep pace with the clear need for novel medical technologies and the industry demand for biomedical engineers. New company partners can gain direct access to research talent that they might not already have in-house. And through a commitment to innovation and cross-disciplinary collaboration, we stand ready to lead the revolution of healthcare as it becomes increasingly preventative and technology-driven in order to make an even larger national and global impact. Thank you for joining us today for the virtual dedication of the Innovation Wing, and we hope to invite you back to campus to see it for yourself very soon. Take care, boiler up, and hail Purdue.